Well, it is indeed uh, great news because we do need to have more troops uh, here in the field and in the south in particular we have to uh, establish more of these windows of security. Of course, we're talking about a valley, about a village, a municipality, an area and uh, it, it's, it's wonderful to see what can happen in a shura, you know, those meetings with the elders once they realize uh, that their area will be cleared and that they have the choice of expressing what are we going to do with this new kind of environment? And you can see a smile on their face, you can see a smile on the face of the kids, uh, realizing that they will have uh, a school that's going to be reopened. You have the little girls who will be able to go to school. I mean, this kind of, of, of emotional moment is really making a difference. But to do this, you have to establish that security. And we're just running out of troops in the area. And uh, some of these troops will be there to train more of the Afghan National Army because there is a stage in our, in our strategy, of course, which is called the, the, the holding part. And there's no better troops to hold the, the terrain than the Afghan National Police to start with and the Afghan National Army in some cases. So we have to look at this, uh, at this as a continuum of, uh, of, of activity. And uh, this is the first step. Having more troops will allow us to do this and to train more of the Afghan National Army so that we can uh, reach this target of 134,000 troops to be uh, trained by the end of 2011.